hi guys welcome back to another video on my channel and today guys i am going to be transforming my office room i still gotta order some things and i still need to take some things out of my additional room and put it in my daughter's room and it's just a long process so this is going to take me more than just one day but i wanted to start recording my process of me um because i have a few things already um that i used to work on um last year when i used to make bonnets and i used to make um tutus and things for kids so um i have like a bunch of stuff i had like a i got a sewing machine an embroidery machine i have a printer laptop all this extra stuff all this extra stuff that go that's supposed to go in my room upstairs so i want to take y'all along with me so that y'all can see every single thing that i do to this room to make it look pretty i don't know what the title of this video is gonna be but it's gonna be like a little i don't know diy like decoration room decoration or office decoration because that's what it's gonna be honestly an office but for the most part i'm gonna just transform this room and i want y'all to look and see how i do it and i'm gonna show y'all a few things right now that i have to go in my room it's a mess back here so so don't talk about me y'all it's a mess back here but I'm about to show y'all everything that's back here. I'm going to show y'all the room that I'm going to put everything in. But for right now, since I moved into this house last year, this stuff been sitting here for a whole year, which is ridiculous. Actually, it was in my garage first, and then I moved it from out of my garage when it got cold. And I moved it um, into my house where my, um, this is my garage door right here. This is my garage door. I still have some things in my garage, too, to trans, to take up to the up to the room but um i just moved it from the garage to in here so it could be warm because i had electronics and things like that but um so i am going to take y'all with me while i transform this room and i want y'all to stay tuned it's gonna take me a couple days guys not gonna take me just one day to do all this but i want to record what i'm doing as far as taking everything up there and taking everything out of that room i want to record everything and it makes me doing that it's like a little workout for me so you might see me with my waist trainer and things on and stuff like that so stay tuned well let me show y'all everything that i have back here right now it's a mess okay y'all it's a mess back here but basically this is some of the stuff that i have back here in this area this is like a little tutu thingy i made for audrey when she went on her father daughter dance and i still have it um i have all of these things i'll show you guys what's in all of these things when um i get everything situated but i have these here's my embroidery machine my um sewing machine and my printer my cricut machine i got my laptop and everything this is everything i use on this desk to make my bonnets and things like that so yeah guys it was a struggle for me to get everything from back in that little corner wall to take upstairs but for the most part i just pretty much just grabbed everything off of the desk so that i could take everything upstairs including the desk that's why i took everything off Finally, I'm done. So I just swept out that little back corner, went upstairs to get these dressers out of my um, spare room to put in the girls room.
Thank God for my little helper. We brung everything upstairs, guys, that was downstairs to put in my craft room. I was bringing all my stuff upstairs to put in my room. So today I have a little bit of time. I'm going to try to set up my room and put it how I want it. May take me some time, but I'm gonna do everything on camera of how to set up my craft room. And stay tuned. Right here, guys, I was working on putting up a corner wall centerpiece to put in my corner just in case I need to put anything up there like a vase or anything to make it look cute after that I started working on my DIY cube blocks to put my fabrics inside of these cubes it was really easy guys it was just a couple steps so right here guys I'm pretty much finished I'm just putting up my Cricut machine on my desk, my printer, and I eventually had to rearrange some things because I forgot where I had everything at, but that makes more sense to put my printer at the bottom. And hooking up all my cords and everything. Of course, I have to hold Ariel because she gets fussy from time to time. So guys, this is the finished product of my work room. I have all my fabrics over here on the shelves that I have put up. I'm still putting those up. I have my Cricut machine, my laptop, my sewing machine. And I also have um, my sewing strings. Um, these are just a couple things that I have um let me show you guys i have like shirts and stuff at, in the top of here um paper for my um my embroidery machine i can't get it out i'm sorry i have hair bags rip, a lot of ribbons and stuff in this top drawer um more ribbons more ribbons cricket machine paper vinyl iron on paper things like that here is my embroidery machine that i have down here at the bottom i have a printer cricut and yeah guys so i try to keep this area right here excuse my daughter guys she is going talking crazy today um i try to keep this area right here for all the space that I need because I am going to be working doing videos and I'm going to need my floor so I kept that space I have this cube thing over here that I am going to spray paint and put up on the wall so I'm not quite finished yet but just to show you guys like what all I had and here's a um, few glimpses of my work room so if you like this video make sure you hit the like button comment down below and i'll answer your questions if you have any questions about anything and yeah guys thanks for watching